Bentley Flying Spur V8S Review Bentley Stately Flying Spur Saloon flexes its considerable sporting muscles in V8S guys but what's the point? Verdict 4 Star The Bentley Flying Spur V8S has to be filed firmly under the unnecessary category, it's a luxury limousine that owners are more likely to experience from the rear seats, and yet it also has clear ambitions of delivering driver involvement. It's simply too big and heavy to ever be entertaining in the traditional sense, but as a rapid, characterful big luxury saloon, with oodles of scope for personalization, it's a worthy alternative to Mercedes-AMG's S63 saloon. The Bentley Flying Spur V8S is the answer to a question that very few us will ever be lucky enough to ask, how can one of the world's fastest luxury four-door saloons be made even faster and even more agile? Confused. You're not alone. But for those who do have a Bentley in their collection, on average it's one of eight vehicles, we're told, the V8S Spur is designed to offer a halfway house between the entry-level 500 BHP V8 and the full-fat W12. It mirrors the popular V8S variant that was introduced last year in the two-door Continental GT, and in the UK at least that car has proven a popular option. In fact, the S is a much more popular choice than the regular V8, Bentley insiders will admit. The raw stats, then, are a retuned version of the 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 motor that brings an extra 2.1 bhp and 2.0 nm of torque to deliver 5.2.1 bhp and, from just 1.750 rpm, a whopping 6.80 nm. There are further revisions to the transmission to help improve throttle response across the rev range. The mods trim 0.3 SEC from the regular V8 S0 to 62 miles per hour time, taking it down to just 4.9 seconds, while also increasing the top speed to 190 miles per hour. Best luxury cars to buy now. Bentley has chosen not to give the flying spur the lowered ride height of the Conti GT's V8 S variant, this is still a limousine, after all but there are reprofiled air suspension settings to tighten up body control on twisty roads and sharpen steering reaction on turn-in. In the most part, though, you'll drive the V8S in one of its softer modes and with the gear lever stuck in D, and in this configuration it has bags of charm. There's more than enough power and torque to catapult itself along, and the gearbox a ZF8 speed automatic with Bentley's own software controlling it is smart enough to make smooth kickdowns when requested. The engine fades away quickly at speed, too, only road roar from the big tires is likely to intrude when you're cruising quickly down a motorway, and even this is pretty well suppressed. Flicking the gearbox into sport mode fences off 8th gear altogether, although it'll be a brave person who tries to hustle the flying spur along in 7th. The revised chassis settings do sharpen up the big car's reactions, making it keener to aim for the apex of a corner when you ask it to. But there's no disguising the fact that there are two and a half tons of car following the nose, while the body is better controlled, you can still feel the weight shifting around and sudden changes of direction are still not the Bentley's forte. At least the ride doesn't get too brittle so you could happily slot the car into sport if you were trying to make up time on a smooth fast a road, for example. Contrary to popular belief, fuel economy is an issue to buyers of this type of car, though on grounds of inconvenience more than cost. Either way, the flying spur cylinder deactivation is also present on the V8S and it helps this huge car to acclaim 25.9 mpg, with CO2 emissions of 254g slash kilometer. Our test mileage was pleasingly close to this figure, too at around 2-3 mpg, so the 95-liter fuel tank should give you a decent range of around 450 miles between fill UPS. Standard kit upgrades on the V8S include a different front grille design, a gloss black rear diffuser and a contrasting material and color down the center of the headlining. However, Bentley thrives on offering its customers a personal experience, and that extends to an option list that encourages them to open up their imaginations almost as wide as their wallets. Our test car pictured here had carbon ceramic brakes, a Mulliner package that brings two 1-in alloys, diamond quilted leather seats and sports pedals, 
and an extensive rear entertainment system as part of an extensive list of add-ons totaling more than £50,000. Buyers determined to relish the opulence of a Bentley purchase will have little trouble in justifying most of the extras, though the £2,100 bill for adaptive cruise control seems a little petty on a vehicle so clearly suited to crossing continents at high speeds. Key Specs Model, Bentley Flying Spur V8S Price, £142,800 Engine, 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 Power slash torque, 521 bhp slash 680 nm. Transmission, 8 speed auto, 4 wheel drive. 0 62 mph slash top speed, 4.9 s slash 190 mph. Economy slash CO2, 25.9 mpg slash 254 g slash km. On sale, now.